to get to the different views, uh, you need to go to Menu in the top left corner. The first thing to do in a project would be to either start from scratch with new or go for open. As I want to show briefly each of the different views, I'll, I'll open an example file. So open. And then we get to browser. This is an example coming with the installer, so it's a large sports venue, sport example version 10. So I select that and select open. Since I want to focus on the offline views, I'll go to menu and then go to the first uh, view called preferences. In preferences, there's a, a few things to check in order for the product to do what you want. The important ones are selecting the mains voltage for the project. So under primary, that would be the, the inexpensive and preferred choice. So in the US, this could, for instance, be 120. Or We should also say that if I select 120 as the low cost alternative, the smaller models, the 80 colon 4 and the 120 colon 4, they, they would deliver more continuous power uh, if they have a higher mains. So alternate circuits, if you want to support that, could be that you run it in Delta in 208 or in Japan. If you have 100 as the primary, then 200 using two phases could be the alternate method. But if we pick the same, then the software will have no We'll have to make it work with these voltages. The breaker emulation limiter settings are show here the different alternatives. So conservative is a setting where it will never draw more current than what you set as the breaker emulation limiter threshold. The headroom is how much headroom would I like to allow compared to the predicted current draw. 10% is the default and that's a good choice, I think. Another choice is what host card, whether it's Lake or Tessera or Tessera with the analog option. If you go for the analog, then Tessera analog, then you have to say whether it should be in failover mode or not. I'll take that and failover. On this side we have the cables and cable A is the home run cable, so the cable from the amplifier to the first speaker for that channel. And cable B is the cable linking the speakers together if there are more than one speaker on the channel. So this choice would be the default cable for that. And we have some of the typical suspects if you use uh, wire gauge or metrics. For all cables, both numbers are specified. So let's say we have 12 gauge as the default and if there are other cable options you want in the project, you can simply select them down here. So let's say I want a four square millimeter cable as well, then I pick that one here and add it. And then it appears as one of the options here. 